He didn't catch it. These are ones you have not caught. No, no. So who are those? Those one the one are also the same thing. Mr. Lee is the manager at the Mobile Mart on Union and 19th Street downtown. He also dabbles in criminal art with a portrait of shoplifters on his wall. It's about chasing those people and coming stealing beer, candy, and all the panhandle How long have you out been there. Chasing? For the last 15 years. But he says it's gotten much worse the past two years. We just caught another one. Let when? Today? Like, yeah, about 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago? Holy yes, cow. sir. There's a lot to choose from here at the Mobile Mart, and there are more than two dozen cameras inside and out to keep an eye on you. It's not unusual for Mr. Lee to play a starring role in these videos. Here, chasing a man out of the store for stealing two 30 packs of beer. He has dozens of video clips of people trying to slip items into their pockets and pants. However, Mr. Lee believes he's only catching about 20% of them. The location of his store, we deal with a lot of the quality of life issue type crimes. You know, there's a there's a uh, transient population in that area. That's no secret. And BPD Sergeant Gary Caresco says he understands Mr. Lee's frustration when reaching out to law enforcement. Criminals in that area, they're opportunists and and you know, unfortunately, Mr. Lee tends to become a victim more than some other stores there. The BPD was unable to provide numbers to us regarding petty theft cases and how many were sent to the DA's office for review over the past few years. The Sheriff's Department was also unable to break it down individually, but they did say that cases submitted to the DA's office from their department has dropped by approximately 1,000 a year over the last three years. But law enforcement says that doesn't mean they're arresting fewer people. We know that there are, are certain areas, certain stores that are just hit over and over and over. And a lot of times it is the same suspect over and over and over. The DA's office saw a spike in filings for petty theft from a pre-109 and 47 rate of about 1,900 to more than 2,500 in 2014. That number dropped to 1,837 last year. Filings are down, but we are still seeing filings for theft-related offenses, albeit they are misdemeanors now rather than felonies. Delano police recently arrested Jose Zamaripa on a felony charge of petty theft for stealing beer. He had two priors, both misdemeanors, for shoplifting and obstruction. When he appeared in court, the DA's office knocked it down to a misdemeanor because the priors weren't a super strike, a violent offense that would make it a felony under Prop 47 and send him to state prison. I hope that. I hope uh, we don't see you back here again. As a result, he pleaded guilty and was given about four months in county jail. The majority of inmates serve their entire sentence in custody. Detentions Lieutenant Ian Silva says with work credit, Zamaripa could serve about half that time at Lerdo Jail. And he says illusions that the jails are kicking out low-level inmates over a lack of space are untrue. Where we are right now, we have su sufficient su space to, to have inmates serve the, the entirety of their sentence. Lieutenant Silva says they have bed space due to diversion programs and citing nonviolent criminals instead of holding them until their court date. But he admits some will still fall through the cracks. There's always going to be a percentage that are not going to be, they're not going to prove successful in those programs. So whether it's a problem of repeat offenders, the transient community, or just bad geography, Mr. Lee says he'll keep calling the police for help and maybe do a little redecorating at his store. If I want to put on the wall, uh -huh. probably about a mile long. <laughs> a mile long. Mike Hart, 23 ABC.